Hey my trolls, today is March 1st. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already just like, what? I'm already like stammering. I always get so anxious with these types of videos. Today is March 1st, 2024. Black History Month is over, still did a black lip. Um, I'm gonna do the intro and then just jump into it because I'm, I'm always just like, out of my head with these videos and even though I'm not I don't think I'm gonna rank them but anyway if you're new here sometimes I'm scattered as you see I call this the crazy troll nation some of that you already saw why is crazy but the crazy is just knowing it's okay to be yourself if you have those flustered moments if you don't say everything perfectly or whatever you think things should be know it's okay to just be yourself whether or not you do videos know it's okay to be your authentic self. The troll part of the crazy troll nation is not caring too much about the beauty community standards. Try not to feel like you need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or a certain technique. Wear whatever you want to, using whatever tools you want to, because you need to be satisfied with how your makeup looks. You need to be okay with whatever it is that you're doing. The bottom line here at the Crazy Troll Nation is self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features, enhancing them if you want to, when you want to, but never feeling like you have to. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look, even without face paint on. That's what we stand for here. If you're new here, I need to let you know, I do curse sometimes in videos. I curse sometimes, period. Um, I hope it's not offensive. To some I know it is, and some of y'all are just like, girl, just do you, boo-boo. And I do appreciate that. And either way, I appreciate you being here. Um, I do try to catch myself. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're gonna jump into <laughs> the palettes that I used for February and there are 19 that I used <gasps> I don't have them all anymore um and I'll talk about why when I get to it I'm still wondering like how did I use 29 in January and I think because I paired a lot so I'm gonna oh lord help me I'm gonna try and hold these up y'all know what I am I am so freaking silly when I did the live I'm like let me do a screenshot at the end you can't screenshot for a live I was just like what was I thinking about um but I'm gonna hold these up and we're gonna go ahead and do our screenshot thank you for being with me for that so these are all the palettes that we use that I still have and I'm gonna go backward because when I pulled them out I just stacked them according to the first of the month down to the 29th which was yesterday so we used Circle Loco we used which is Natasha Denona by the way I know y'all knew that um Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge I was gonna say lethal but it's not Notoriously Morbid this is from this is from Notoriously Morbid I'm still be y'all these videos the roundups, the rankings, I'm always just like, Whoa. notoriously morbid. This is some kind of haunted. We use from DD Signature, the classic autumn palette. We use both of the House Labs um, palettes, which I really do like. Um, some people were just like, mm. and on, on YouTube, it seems people weren't liking them. But if, on, if you see a post on Instagram, like people love them over there. So I, I don't know. Natasha Denona, we use the Leela palette. Martine Cosmetics, Mission Triple X. We used two of my MAC BYOPs that I rearranged and put them into 15 pans. This one I call my Starry Night palette because I know that shade is Starry Night. And I love that you can see through these, through the lid. Excuse me, this one I'm calling Work, 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 spelled with an E because this shade is Work, Work, Work. And so I know what that is. We used Lethal Cosmetics Night Flower Palette, and I do believe that was for a collab with Grace, I believe. We used only one. Oh, we used it twice. <laughs> Mothership number 10, Moonless Seduction. We used it twice. I was, I will get to that. Lethal Cosmetics, this is my newest BYOP, and this entire palette is from single shadows that were on their last chance page so these were all like clearance shadows and i just love how it made a cohesive palette because i was just picking shadows i didn't have lethal cosmetics teresa is dead we used that again this month well last month 
Lethal Cosmetics Bro in 89 because I was trying to think about what I haven't used for a while. And for most of, oh, we have another Lethal, the Jolina palette. <laughs> and I, I don't know what I did because one month I did, I think it was three or four palettes, three or four looks, but it was the same brand. Um, so I don't even remember right now if that's what I did, which is why we have, uh, well, I only have like a handful of brands anyway. So I actually used all the brands I have this month. <laughs> that is so hilarious to me. So we're going to backtrack. So with Lethal Cosmetics Jolina palette, we did our look number four with this palette. And this is what it looks like. And if you're liking the color story, this palette is no longer available. And for any palette that you see that you're like, oh, wow, that's so pretty. Just really look at the colors and think about, can I do some of the shades? Or if you see a look, because I see a lot of times, y'all, oh, this look you did sold me. I'm buying this palette. And I'm like, so you're buying a palette because of the one look that you really like that somebody did. Because number one, chances are you already have some of those shades in your collection. The finish might be different or whatever. But you have similar shades. And second, buying a palette because you like a look somebody did, unless you are extremely skilled at recreating looks, you can recreate it, but it's not going to look exactly the same. And so try not to, unless you have that skill set. Alexandra has that skill set. Like she can recreate anything and it looks just like it. And I'm just like, how? Because y'all see the stuff I do. I, um, and anytime I recreate something, it looks so different because my technique is different. I pack instead of blend a lot, you know, stuff like that. So you have to think, well, you don't have to, but if you see a look you like and you want to try to recreate it, just make it your own. Uh, because again, if you don't have that skill set, it's not going to look the same. And so to buy a palette just because of one look that you like that somebody did, Mm, I don't recommend it, <laughs> but then I don't recommend just buying everything that looks pretty and shiny either. I want you to try to be a conscientious consumer. And I do have a video on that. And when I edit this and hear myself say that, I would try to remember to link that video in the I cards, which will come up up here. I'm not going to post it up here now and I'll put it near the end of the video. But what posting in the I cards will do is that video will show up down below the description bar. And it will also be, I'll also put the link in the description box. So but if you go beneath the video all the way down to the bottom, um, beneath the description box, you'll see the video down there. So, But this is what it looks like. I really like this palette. And it is so versatile. And if you're new, the different vibes I like are messy grunge with a little punk vibe, which is usually when I do a non-traditional, meaning not a brown or black eyeliner. I'll do like a yellow or a red or something like that or orange. Um, I like um, vampy looks. I like dark smoky looks. Um, I like um, swamp water looks, which is messy grunge, but is more of that green mustardy type tones. This palette can give me all of that. I don't lean towards ethereal looks. Says me today with an ethereal look on. I do think they're very pretty, but I prefer darker. And I also like bold colors too, which is where lethal comes in. Some of those, oh my gosh, I love the formula too. But th a palette like this, if you have something like this, or if you're like, oh, wow, I like the look, and then you buy it and you get it, you're like, what the hell do I do with that? Because <laughs> sometimes I do that too, and it's been a while. A palette I'm going to show you that we used in February. It took me a long time to, to use it again because I did not know what to do with it. But for something like this and for that, you can look at it in quads. Like you can use these four shades right here. You can use these four shades right here. You can use this as a liner and just put like these on the lid. You can do a very light ethereal look with these. Use the blue as a liner unless you want that pop pow when you put it on the lid. And so just looking at palettes and breaking it down into sections will help you think of what you can do with a palette. And so this is Jolena. I'm excited. I really like Lethal's formula. Um, I really do. And this has some life left into it because Lethal's shadows... The PAO is 24 months, which means it should be good for at least 24 months after you open it. And I've only had it for a year. So me and Jolene got a whole nother year. I need to use it more because, again, that was only look number four that I did with that palette. And I'm thinking now, like, do I want to rank these? I think we'll do, excuse me for smacking, I think we'll do what we did before, which was top tier, mid tier, bottom tier versus this is number 19, 18. Because I just really... It just creates so much anxiety for me. 
trying to rank palettes, especially when it's like 19. Well, it's not 19 because a couple I don't have. But still, if it's more than like five, I, I'm just like... <sighs> This is Berlin 89. I did just take the sleeve off. I don't keep packaging, but something like this, it is so slim. It's it's, it's not cumbersome to keep. It's not bulky. It's, oh, boy, geez, I'm glad I caught it. And so it just slides out. And so this is, so I do keep this one because it's not in the way. But Berlin 89, this is the color story. And even, you know, to the red. Like this, this palette, and again, 24-month PAO. This is what it looks like. And that th this is what it looks like. <laughs> like, look at these colors. This is a typical shift these days. So you see that it's green and then you see that it's red. But this palette, I really like it. To me, this is grungy. I did a collab and we were doing each other's aesthetic. I like the dark, smoky, and sometimes, you know, bright looks. And the person I collabed with, they like ethereal looks. And I'm looking at this like, um... But you know what? I did an ethereal look with this and it was pretty. So it taught me something like coming out of my comfort zone, doing something I normally don't do. I was like, this is nice. Would I do that look again? Probably not because I because <laughs> I like darker looks unless I just wanted to do something quick and simple because it was quick. This, this look took me 10 minutes and only because I did one eye on film and one eye off. But if I would have just kept going, like actually the entire video... Um, including eyeliner and mascara, which I did edit out of the video. I think the whole thing was like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. And so if I want to do something just quick and easy, you know, formula that is hard to mess up on, if impossible to mess up on. But that look I did with this, the ethereal one, it was a very pretty look. For every palette that I'm showing you, I do have a playlist for. So if you want to see what I've done with Lethal Cosmetics, Berlin 89 palette, there's a playlist for that. If you want to, you know, Lethal Cosmetics Jolena palette, you know, you can look for that. But now I'm wondering, like, I think for Lethal, I might have Lethal BYOP's palette, Bill Drawn palettes, and Lethal Pre-Made palettes. So I, that might be it with Jolena and this one. But anyway, I probably should separate them out, but it, it would only be a few. This was only look number four. For this palette and i really i really enjoy this palette it is easy to use everything shows up on me really well not a lot of mess not a lot of fuss and you know it gives me that grunge vibe that i really like so that's this one and i'm wondering if i want to put these in mid-tier low tier top tier now um I don't know though. I, I'm still. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Teresa is lethal from Lethal Cosmetics. Same deal with um, the sleeve. This is what this palette looks like, and this one it took me a long time to get back to it. So this was only. Oh, I skipped one because I don't have it anymore. But I'm going to talk about it. Um, I don't even know. Excuse me for smacking. I don't even know if I have a picture to show you of it. But this one, I did one look, one eye when I first got it. And then it took me a long time to do the third look because I didn't know what to do with it. I was just like, what? And so I finally did a third look. And I'm like, yeah. So I was experimenting, just trying new things, putting things in different places. And the fourth look I did, I really liked too. This, when I'm looking where you are, this looks pink. When I look over here, it looks orange. So that's why I was kind of looking at it. So this is what I see in person. I see orange, but up here it looks pink. So it is a dual chrome and now I'm looking at this blue to see if that's shifty too but I don't think so I think this is the only one this shade right here TV dinner this is bright Ooh, but it's so pretty but I really like this palette it does take me out of my comfort zone it does encourage me to try new things because when you look at this color story it's just like okay do like a really basic look with this row you can do a, a monochromatic look with this row. You can do a monochromatic-ish look with this row. But I don't always want to be predictable, even though sometimes I really am. You can do a look with like this column. And so I, I, I moved around within the palette and did looks. Because I don't always want to do what's typical. Like we see a palette, it's like, okay, this, this, this. 
that, 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 you know, I don't always want to do that. And I do encourage you to try new things. And so who am I to not try new things if I'm encouraging you to try new things? You know what I'm saying? So, but this palette, I really do enjoy. I need to use it more. Um, it, it does take me to think of something new and just, just have the mindset of let's just put it and see what happens. And actually like probably a, at least a third, if not a half of the videos I do, it's like, let's just put it and see what happens. Like I have no idea because I don't swatch sh colors, excuse me, shadows before I do a look. I don't swatch them out on my arm or the back of my hand and be like, oh, let's put these together. I just look in the palette and be like, hey, we're going to put this here, put that there. And then I put it on. So usually I don't have an idea Unless it's a monochromatic look because all the shades are in the same family. But unless it's a monochromatic look, I don't know what the look is going to look like. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to back up. We used Berlin 89 on the 2nd of February. We used Teresa is Lethal on the 3rd. Also on the 3rd, I did one look before I went to sleep and I'm nocturnal. So I go to sleep in the morning. And so when I wake up at night, it's the same day. So then I did another look, which was the one with Teresa's lethal and the palette that I don't have. If I can find a picture of it, actually I'll put a picture up here of the look that I did. It was Matt Cosmetics Love Struck Luck Palette. And it was a pretty palette, um, monochromatic-ish, but it was cute. What caught me off guard is that the PAO was six months. And MAC shadows, they last years. So I was like, and the look I did reminded me of, I want to say Midnight Sun. Not a dupe, but it reminded me of a look I could have did with Midnight Sun. And I'm trying to think now. I don't know if I did one look. No, that wouldn't have been for that video. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I did. I think I did. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Because right now I know nothing except I need to eat and I'm thirsty. <laughs> And so it was a really pretty palette. It was six sh shadows in the palette, but knowing that I can do a similar look with another palette that I had and that the PAO was only six months, even though you can keep things longer, I'm like, I'm taking it back. So I did return that. And I also returned the blush that was with that collection because a blush looked like one of my house labs blushes almost. And I don't like to have dupes in my collection. So I don't have Matt Lovestruck Luck anymore. It was a very pretty palette. The price point was really good. Um, I do recommend it if it's on sale. Just keep in mind the PAO is really short. It's like six months. And I do know that there's other brands where the PAO is like six months for eyeshadows. And I'm like, what? And even though you can keep things longer, if they're saying at least six months, like, do you want to just take that chance and be like, oh, yeah, I used this last year. Let me use it today. And then, you know, your eyelids are flaking and crusting. You know what I'm saying? But I have sensitive skin, so I think about those things. So on the fourth, we used... <laughs> another lethal another lethal palette this is i don't have a name for it and i, I might just label it clearance <laughs> because each of these shadows were on the lethal cosmetics website on their last chance page and they were up to 30 percent off so some of these were like five dollars and a couple cents some of the multi um or like the swirls these down here they might have been 13 bucks which was still i think they were like 10 or 15 percent off so everything in here was like last chance everything in here was on sale and so what i did was i took out all of my lethal palettes over to my desk and i opened them all up and i went on the website and I was looking at the shadows and looking at the palettes. Do I have that shade? Nope. Add the cart. <laughs> look at the next shadow. Look at my palettes. Do I have the shade? Nope. Added the cart. Look on the website. Look at the shadow. Look at what I have. Do I have it? Yeah, don't put that in the cart. That's how I picked all these shades. Because they were not shades that I had. <laughs> but look at this palette, though. This palette, it looks like something you would buy, right? I was just like, how in the world did this little crazy troll over here... Just take a bunch of clearance shadows and make a cohesive palette. Because I really didn't think about, will this go with that? Will it go? No, I'm like, don't have it, put it in the cart. Don't have this, put it in the cart. And then when I got them and I laid them out, I'm like, oh. And when I sat to put them into, you know, the palette, then I, then I tried to, you know, line stuff up or whatever. And I'm like, this is a pretty ass palette. <laughs> and the, what look was that with this one? This was my look three with this. The first look I did was this middle row because the shades holding it next to the Nocturnal Nirvana Blitz Astro Quad 
it looked very similar. So I did one look with this row and one look with the pad quad. And it was like, can you tell what is where? I will tell you this. I do like Nocturnal Nirvana. It is a favorite quad of mine. And I have three now. And I do really love all three of them. But compared to this, that was dull as hell. <laughs> it was that very muted, soft grunge. And I do like grunge. And so I did like the look. But this here, all of these was like, boom, pow. We're going to not pat the hell out. Like this. It, the, the, and that's what I was saying about, you know, sometimes I do like really bold looks. I like the smoky, but sometimes I like bold too. These shadows was like boom, pow. I was just like, whoa. And then I did a look with, I think I mixed up the bottom row with the top row. But anyway, the, the look we did on the 4th of February was the third look with this palette. And I really, I really like this palette. <laughs> I really do. And it just really surprises me that these were all like clearance shadows. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I was like, Troll did that thing. Yeah, her did. And so on the 7th and on the 8th, I used Pat McGrath Mothership number 10, Moonless Seduction. And what I was doing is, I only intended to do one look. Joe Beauty 87, aka Grace, she was showing um, how she does. Um, like the battles or you don't need this because you might have that. And she was saying that the Inslee Rain, I think it was the Cold Moon palette. She was saying it had Midnight Sun vibe. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Moonlit Sun. Is this Moonlit? Moonlit ain't even a sun. This is Moonlit Seduction. <laughs> and, so I, and so she sent me a picture of the look that she did. And she was like, oh, you should do it. So I did the look and I'm like, hmm. It was a pretty look. This I love this palette. It is so unassuming. Especially this shade. I freaking love this shade. That's Platinum Dusk. And But I was trying to get more of the silver and the purple. Even though this doesn't have a purple in it. So I did two looks. And I think it's in the same video. So we did look number nine and look number ten on the 7th and 8th of February with this palette. Excuse me for those glares. And so, yeah, we use this. I love this palette. So if I was doing tears, I don't think I'm going to do tears because I really like all these palettes. And so it's hard for me to... It's hard for me to rank. And when I look at the lethal, like I really enjoy all of them. There's one, actually this one. Is it this one or the other one? Let me see. Let me see. It's one of the lethal, um, oh goodness, one of the lethal palettes that I am ambivalent about. And I do, but all of my BYOBs, like I, I am in love. And, you know, I, I built them that way. Excuse me for reaching over. I'm just trying to put you know, I move stuff and stuff slides down and my OCD is like, put it right. Um, this one I'm kind of, is this the one I'm ambivalent about? No, this is the one I'm ambivalent about. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think this is the one I'm ambivalent about, but I'm not sure. This one is Night Flower from Lethal Cosmetics. And actually it is. This one is Velvet Dusk that we did not use because Velvet Dusk is more rich. And because I do like the dark smoky and you got, you know, that mustard shade. And so this one we did not use, but yeah, so this one is the one that I'm ambivalent about it. I do really like the looks that I did. And so it's not that I don't like the looks. It's just the tones of it because this is a lighter palette. And I realized, because I had to think about why do I not really use this palette a lot? But on the 10th, we did, is this the wrong palette? Oh, we used this on the 11th. I missed one. I gotta find it. Was that the... I'm missing something. So... Hmm, okay, I need to figure that out. So this is Night Flower that we used on the 11th. And it was only look number three with this palette. Because it doesn't, it doesn't call to me. I'm trying to get the glares off. And it is a very pretty palette. Very pretty color story. But because I like darker looks... I was like, hmm. And this was a pre-made, too. And 
I do like it. I like the colors. I just like darker or smokier or messy grunge. And I think now that I'm looking at it, I think what it is for me are these pinky tones. Like I don't really want all of that. But like this here, this one, this, this is really pretty. And so I think that's what kind of throws me off is this shade, this, and these two, because I like darker. And even like this one, it's like, what? You know what I mean? So, the, and, and I'm processing as I'm talking to you. So thank you for being here for that. But looking at it, that's what it is with this is that it has those lighter pinky tones, which I don't really go for. But the looks that I did with this, like I really do like. And the other one I used was Wild... <sighs> I always have to slow down because I want to say Wild fire but it's wild flower and that's in those shadows i put in a palette because i picked the shades that i wanted from that palette because i didn't want the entire palette and so i picked out the shades that i wanted from it and so i'm just going through my lethal palettes to find out which one it is because i don't have a label on the palette i only have labels on the pre-mades actually yeah here we are so let me put these away so i don't confuse myself this these this is a byop in the sense that six of the shades are from wild flower and that was for a collab too i think these because i picked six let me see I think, I don't want to lie to you, but I know this is definitely, <laughs> I think these six are from Wildflower. Definitely Thorn. And this is supposed to be like a UV reactive under black light or whatever. This is Untamed. Ta untamed will not be tamed. This shadow is so bold and so shiny. And so these two and these four are from Wildflower. Because I didn't want the whole palette because I wanted... You know, I wanted the darker tones. And I'm like, this will be a nice blend out shade. And this was just like, whoa. And this this is really bold too. And so I did a look with these six shades. I do believe it was for a collab. It might have been with Grace. Um, we did a, quite a few collabs in February. And that was look number four, excuse me for smacking, with the wild flower shades. Okay, so now we're on track. Now on the 14th of February... We used what I call my Starry Night palette from MAC Cosmetics. This was look number one with these shadows in this palette because I had um, 12 pans and I had um, a 9 pan. And so when I saw that they had the 15 pan, so I just like put all of my MAC singles into the 15 pan. So I have used these shades multiple times before but in this palette as a whole this is that was look number one and so I did a look with these I just really love it you know I have a row I can get my grunge I can get my smoke I can get my vampy if I want to do lighter ethereal which I seldom am excited to do but I do them and I do like the looks but this is where I live it's like this right here <laughs> but I do really like this palette and so we use that and then the next day not even next day because I was the 14th. On the 20th, we used what I'm calling my work, work, work palette because this is called work, 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 spelled with an E. My first look with this palette as a whole. I have used these shades before. A couple of these. This is Divine Mink. This is a Pat McGrath single. And I think something else is too, but I'm not sure. But I do like the look that I did. And this, again, you can do, you know, just a, a light, easy look. You can do a reddish monochromatic if you want to. And it's surprising me that I set palettes up this way because I don't really, I'm not geared towards monochromatic looks. There was a shine right there, and now it's gone. Awesome. And so it just amazes me that I do that. And, of course, you got the smoky row. But I think, I'm sure, like, I hopped around when I did the look. Actually, I'm pretty sure that I did. This color is a nice mustard swamp water shade i love it so we used this this month well last month Ooh, oh oh <laughs> on the 21st we did look number six with berlin underground that was my second time having it it came back into my possession from a dear friend and when i used it 
it wasn't the same. It was old. And so I don't have that anymore. Excuse me for smacking. The look was nice. I will put a picture up here of the look. Um, the formula, the textures were, was different than I remember. And towards the end of the video, my eyes started burning. I'm like, you know what? No. So even though I had it less than, you know, 12 months, it, it, it was an older palette. If you look up Nomad Cosmetics Bro and Underground. That palette came out years and years and years and years and years ago. And uh, and I think it's on Amazon. I think I saw it on Amazon. <laughs> but the one that I had that came back to me was um, one of the ones that was given in Ipsy. How many years ago was that? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, how old was this palette before I got it and opened it? But anyway, the look was nice. Um, but it just, it was different. It was, it was old and my lids was like, we're not doing this again. So I don't have that one anymore. The next one we used on the 22nd, excuse me, look number eight with my Teen Cosmetics Mission Triple X palette. This is based on the Alien movies. Each shadow name is based on, is from one of the characters in the Alien movies. This palette, like, yeah, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's green. But it only has one, two, three, four greens. This is kind of greenish, too, so you can say five greens. And this is what, two, four? This is 18 pan palette. Is it two, four, six? Yeah, 18 pan palette, and you only got like six greens. So it's not like a complete green palette. And something I did that surprised me, I did a silver look with this palette. It was really pretty. It was reminiscent of a toned down Natasha Denona Xenon palette look. And because I was thinking of what can I do different that I haven't done with this palette. And I was like, yeah. Because I did um, one look, two columns, two columns, and then another look. And then I think I did by Rose. So I'm like, what can I do that I haven't done? And so I did a gray look. And that wasn't the one I did in February, but my mind is just going back because it surprised me that I got such a pretty gray look out of this palette because people were like, it's green. There's only six greens in here. That's all. That's it. But this, I really like this formula. I like the palette. Everything works just fine. I don't care that there's a black with silver. I don't care that there's a smoke gray. I don't care that there's another black and gray with shimmer. But when you put it on, it doesn't look shimmery though on me. But I really like this palette. Excuse me for snacking. I'm thirsty. My mouth is dry. So moving on to, <laughs> I was going to say November. <laughs> the 23rd of February, we used an Natasha Denona Leela palette. Leela does not get a, enough love from me. Um, this was look number 10 that we did with this palette. It's very pretty, but it's not... <sighs> It's not an everyday palette for me. Everyday for me is swamp water, messy grunge, vampy. <laughs> and this isn't that, but every time I use it, I'm like, this is why I love it. Like every look I've done with this is just like, wow. And so it is really pretty. If you match your makeup to your clothes, this is something you may not get a lot of use out of because if you have on this color shirt, are you going to want to put this on if you match your eyeshadow to your shirt? No, you're not going to want to do that unless you just stick to like these shades here or, you know, these three with this one, this one, and that one. And this one is a dual chrome. So you see how it's that shade and then it's this shade. And so, I mean, so you can with this shirt, if you match your makeup to your clothes, you can use, you know, these three shades and like these two. But that's about it. And so, but because I do like the dark and the smoky, the messy grunge and all that stuff. But when I use this though, I'm just like, oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> so I do really like Leela. And this is the second time I've had Leela, which says to me like, yeah, I really do like it. I just, it just doesn't call to me. So I, I made it a point last month I said what palettes have I not used in a while and that's how I ended up using what I used because I want to use what I have and I only keep what I love so speaking of which there's something I do I am thinking of getting rid of because I'm just like but anyway we'll talk about that um you you will I'm sure you'll have seen it because I have a live on the third the fourth and so we'll talk about what I'm considering getting rid of. 
So on the 24th of February, we used both of the House Labs, very reflective packaging, and we combined the palettes to do a look. Cause I'm, I was looking at these like, this could, excuse me for smacking, I am so dehydrated. To me, this looks like it could be one palette. And so we used it as if these two were one palette. And you know what? I really like the look that I did. I think I did that little spotlight halo cat eye look thing that I did. And one of the looks I did, somebody's like, oh, it looks like a cat eye. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. And so that's why now I'm like, halo spotlight cat eye <laughs> look. But the, I really like both of these. Uh, and a lot of people here on YouTube, they were like, oh, it's trash. It's worse than I thought. And I'm like, I like it. But then I'm a troll. So there's that. 26th of February. Oh, this was, these were looks number two using both of these palettes. Because I did one palette for a video, another palette for another one. DD Signature Classic Autumn Palette. This is what that looks like. And I do keep this leaf because it's just like really... It's not bulky, it's just really thin, just like the other ones from Lethal. But this is what this palette looks like. I do have tape over Mushroom because it just wanted to keep growing and it was messy as hell. And I considered not keeping the palette and one of my troll kin was like, just put tape over it. So I, <laughs> so I put tape over it and used um, a Q-tip with micellar water and scrubbed, you know, because it was just messy. It was just everywhere. And there are still some spots on here that wouldn't come off, but I got it clean enough to where I'm not disgusted by it. And so, and I knew I wasn't going to use mushroom again because it was just too friggin' messy. Um, so I used this, excuse me for smacking. And I do like the look that I did. And I was trying to do something different. And right now, I don't even remember. I probably did a spotlight halo cat eye type thing. Because I find for me, when I do those types of looks, it, it enables me to put color combinations together that I normally wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, oh, I'll just put this here, blend it a little bit, put another shade here, blend it, put another shade, and then put like a, a, a strip of something bright, like right down the center. And so I find when I do those types of looks, I'm able to be more experimental as far as the color story. Because if it was just, you know, light to dark, um, inward, outward, or outward, inward, dark to light, those wouldn't be color combinations I would use. But when I do the halo spotlight cat eye thing, I'll put, you know, a shade innermost corner and then the shade outermost the same shade then the second shade will be inside of there and inside of here the third shade will be inside here and inside here and then the fourth shade will be the strip of you know the, the shimmer 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 shade and so these three shades they may not be shades i would typically even put together but because of where i'm placing them and all the stuff that i'm doing and the strip of light down the middle that just takes that stills the entire show I am really liking, you know, that style of look because it, it, I feel more comfortable just putting shadows together, as I said, that I normally wouldn't put together to do a look. And so I'm pretty sure, watch me be way wrong, um, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's what I did with this palette. And I forgot to put the plastic back in here. So the next palette we're going to talk about what am I doing? Notoriously, excuse me, that was an internal pickup. Oh, and that was only look number three with this. It took me a long time to come back to this because I really was still on the fence about it. And I'm like, let me use it again. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm really keeping it. Notoriously morbid, some kind of haunted. The packaging, y'all, sucks ass. It's just like, look, this sticker, and you can see the white around the edges like this. Like, can you, like, cut it to where you can't see that? But anyway, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I I hate I hate this shade. Every time I show this palette, I say, and it always transfers down here. And even when I wipe that off, when I close it again and open it back up, it's still right there. I'm a label whore. Hi, my name is Dion, Crazy Troll Nation here, label whore. So I put the names of the shadows so that when I look at it, I can be like, oh, okay, this is next face. This is disembodied. The shade names are on the back and they placed it exactly where it is on here. So this shade is this shade. And so I like how they do that. But when I'm doing videos, I don't want to have to keep flipping back and forth. I just want to just try to be as quick as possible and be like, okay, this is that shade. So that, that's why I did this unsightly label. So this is what it looks like. I, I'm considering putting tape over this as well because this, it is so friggin' messy to use. Even with a sponge tip applicator, no matter what brush 
I use, I do not use my fingers. For me, sponge tip applicators mimic a finger application, but this shadow is just so friggin' messy. And also, when I swatched it against um, that Sunless Seduction Crimson Blitz, whatever shadow, it looks, um, it looks exactly the same. So I'm like, if I just want this color, I can get it from there. So it, it's just it's messy as hell. But I was on the fence about this palette because it's predictable in the sense that it's not a lot of dual chromes, multi chromes. There's a couple. And I was like, let me just use it. Three of these shades are not original. If you've seen any of the videos I've used with this, and this was only look number three with this palette. But if you saw the other two and you, I think at the end of the video where I did use all of my Notoriously Morbid, which I have four of them at this point, at the end of the video, I talked about, you know, how am I really feeling about these palettes? And I was kind of like, eh. And I did talk about why some of these are not original in here. So I'm not going to get into that here. I do have a Notoriously Morbid playlist. All the looks are in the one playlist because I only have four of those palettes. And so I did not separate them out per palette as I did with other brands where I have more than four palettes from the brand. But I did that look and I was like, it's a keeper. <laughs> And so, I was glad that I tried it again because I didn't want to give up on it so soon because this was expensive. So I'm like, we gonna we gonna keep playing around <laughs> and find out. And we found out. I really enjoyed using this. Um, I just have to remember that these shadows, the ones that are original to here, except for this glittery bomb thing. Some of these shadows in here are really soft and I'm heavy handed. I'll just go and I'm just like, okay, wait, let me just, so I have to remember to go gently with these shadows, but they go on fine. It's, a lot of, it's not a lot of mess, not a lot of fallout. You know, the shades are pretty. They're pretty much true to pan. On the back, it shows you which ones are um, the dual chrome, multi-chromes. But when you look at it, you don't, I don't really see a shift in it. And so when I go to put it on, I'm thinking, okay, this is what it is. And I put it on, it looks different. I'm like, what? Um, but anyway, <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's a surprise. Oh, well, we're going to keep going on with the look. This one is a dual chrome. So you see how it's purple and then it's looking kind of blue. This one right here. And so, but I really do like this palette. It's a shame that, um, you know, all the shadows in here are not original they they fell apart and i'm like that okay i can't use that but anyway so moving on the 28th whistler snow lodge palette from nomad cosmetics and this is what that looks like and this was look number six that i did with this and i do believe this is my second time having whistler i really like it i don't use it a lot and i don't know why <laughs> And so I'm like, I haven't used this in a while. Let me use it again. So look number six we did with this. And I don't remember what the look looked like. <laughs> and looking at palettes like this is easy. If if you are, if you lean towards monochromatic looks, okay, you got, you know, these two rows, do your greens. You do a look with your blues. You know, you do this column right here with the two, you know, the red and the orange and, you know, the deep brownish green or greenish that is not a black. I do know that. So it looks to me, in person, it looks black, but looking where you are, it, it looks like it has a green undertone to it. And so, but I don't, I'm not geared towards monochromatic looks. And so I forget what we did. I'm wondering if we did one of those halo spotlight cat eye things. I really don't remember. But I do remember that I like the look that I did. I do. I just need to figure out why this palette doesn't call me. I love the, excuse me for smacking, I do love the boldness of some of these colors. And maybe that's what it is. It's because all of them don't call to me. You know what I mean? And so, hmm. Nomad is having, I saw on their Instagram that Hudson Valley, and it's another one, that once they're gone, they're gone. And so I thought to get Hudson Valley again, but then I had to remember why I decluttered it because it didn't, it didn't call to me. Even though the colors were rich, they just weren't tones that were like, use me, use me. And I paired it, you know, a few times with other palettes and it was nice, but it just never called my name. And I wanted it to call me <laughs> and the looks that I did were nice, 
but for the most part, like when I'm looking at my palettes and what I'm, you know, schedule out to use for the week, I would just look at it and look at something else. Like it just never like drew me. Um, this one, I do actually think to use it, but then it gets bypassed for something else. Whereas Hudson Valley, as beautiful as it is, as rich as some of those tones are, it just, it just didn't grab me. And so I, I, I did declutter that one a while ago. The last one we used yesterday, the 29th of February. You see my face just change, right? <laughs> this was look number 20. This is my second time having Circle Loco. What I like, this look came out different than I thought. It really did. Um, but I, I did like the look, but it, it surprised me because I think we put this one, we put, I want to say Acrobat. Where is Acrobat? Am I taking too long, y'all? Where the hell? Because I do remember using Acrobat. Oh, we used Acrobat and we used Electric. Side by side, they were almost the same. And I'm like, I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be more of a color differentiation. This is, it does show up more green. This one does show up more blue. Excuse me for smacking. But they were so close. Like when, like now, you know, you can tell this is one color, that's another color. And, but when you would look straight, it looked like it was this, the one shade all the way over. And so that, I was just like, I didn't expect that. But it was still pretty. But it wasn't what I expected. Because they do look different in the pan. So this one, we put this on the first half of the lid. Or like the center lid. This on the outer half of the lid. And we use Ariel. It's like on the inner portion. Like where this is, which isn't what it is. But the same kind of tone almost. And so then we ended up taking this further over just to have more color versus these two looking almost the same. So it surprised me. I would not do that look again because these two showed up so close. I just wouldn't put them next to each other. But if I did a halo type look, then yeah, I would put this and then that one. But to have them, you know, one on one half and the other on the other half, it was just too close for me. So that was, excuse me for smacking, I am thirsty. So that was a learning experience for me and i do still have three more looks on a piece of paper to do with this palette and what i do sometimes is when i'm looking at a palette i will think of looks to do and then i'll write them down and put the paper inside the palette and so then when i pick it up to use it i'm like oh i can pick one of these instead of trying to <laughs> look at it and think of something new so those are all the palettes that we used in february Minus Berlin Underground that I don't have anymore. And Mac Love Struck Luck, which I don't have anymore. I'm trying to think, is there something else I don't have anymore? And I don't think so. So am I going to put these top tier, mid tier? I can't do it. I mean, I can. What's, what's jamming me up? What's jamming me up is my Lethal palettes. Because... We have six, whew, we use six lethal palettes this month. And it's hard for me, for some reason, ranking lethal is just hard for me because they all call me. Like the one palette I had mentioned doesn't call me. And so I need to think of what I'm gonna do. And because the pans are removable, I'm like, do I just take out certain shades? You know what I mean? Instead of keeping, you know, all 12. Is it 12 in here? Yeah, instead of keeping all 12 and then not calling me versus just picking out the ones that do call to me and putting them into another palette, which I do have empty palettes, or just rearrange something. But it, it is just really hard for me to rank my lethals. And I only have a handful of the, the pre-mades. But they're all, you know what it is? Now that I'm really, like, seriously trying to think about it, the, the color stories are so unique. And so it's hard for me to say I prefer this one over that one, except for the one I showed you because it has a lot of those lighter tones, which I'm not geared towards. But like these right here, like they're even um, Teresa's Lethal. You have some light shades in there, but the tones of them and because of how the color story is curated, it excites me and it motivates me to try something new. And so I, yeah, I... So what we're going to say, I'm not, I'm, I, I want, I want to, I want to tear them, 
but I, I don't because most of these would probably be in the middle and something has to be top middle and something has to be low so all right we're going to oh shit <laughs> moonlit seduction top tier circle loco top tier so we're doing top tiers first because those are easy actually house slabs we're going to put top tier these are fun i don't care what nobody say um, <laughs> this is getting hard. I can't do it. All right, what's going to be bottom? So we have top tier. Moon of Seduction, Circle Loco, and both of the house labs. So those are top tier. Bottom. Fuck. Bottom. Shit. Bottom is going to be... Shit. Bottom is going to be Whistler only because it, it, it I do like it. I like all of these. But it's something about it. It just doesn't call me. Um, bottom. DD Signature Classic Autumn Palette. Because it doesn't call me. And I was on the fence. And I said, let me try it again. And I tried it. And I'm like, it's a keeper. But it's on the bottom because it, 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 was, it was about to go. Um... <sighs> We're going to put Leela bottom as much as I love it because it just doesn't call to me. And I don't know why. I need to figure out why. Um, I really, I really just don't know. Because every time I use it, I'm like, this is why I love it. And at the same time, though, it doesn't call me. And now that I'm looking at it, maybe it's because a lot of the tones, a lot of, a lot of the shadows seem like they would kind of blend together. Because even looking at it, this looks like it'll blend into that. But these are very different on my lid. This looks like, you know, it'll blend into that, which it will. This is a dual comb. Is that a dual comb too? No. Is it? No. That's not a dual comb. But these look like they would blend in together, but they don't. Like, everything in here is true to pan, but this next to this, you know, it is similar. So I think that's what it is. It's just this, this, these, two. like the, the reddish ones. The same with um, the lethal palette I was saying, like those pinky tones. So I think that might be it. I'm not sure. But the looks I do, I love it. But it, it just doesn't call my name. So that's going to be on the bottom. So we have, shit. Moon and Seduction, Circle Logo, and House Labs top tier. Bottom tier, Nomad, Whistler, Snow Lodge, Didi Signature, the Classic Autumn Palette, and Natasha Denona, Leela Palette. Um, everything else is going to be in the middle. That was a huge ass cheat. Everything else is gonna be in the middle. <laughs> so six lethals. <laughs> you know what? No, 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 no. Um, Jolena is gonna go on top tier because it excites me. It gives me that that smoke, that grunge that we like. Where's the one with the pre-made from? Um. The clearance shades. This one is top tier. This is top tier. This, 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 this. See, I can't even talk. It got me stuttering. Top tier. So, <laughs> so what we have left. So everything else is mid tier. Did I say we were going to put some kind of haunted bottom tier? Because it was on the fence. Yeah, I think because it was on the fence, and then I decided to keep it. And so, again, top tier, <laughs> Moon and Seduction, Circle Loco, Both House Labs, Jolena from Lethal, and the Clearance Shadows from Lethal and the BYOP. That's top tier. Bottom tier, Nomad Cosmetics, Whistler Snow Lodge, Dee, Dee Signature, the Classic Autumn Palette, Natasha Denona, Leela Palette, and Notoriously Morbid, Some Kind of Haunted. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six top tier, one, two, three, four bottom tier and that leaves us with two four five six seven in the middle <laughs> so we have both of my this this i want to put this top tier <laughs> this is my starry night palette from mac this is my work 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 we're going to put the starry night one top tier we're going to leave Starry Night middle mid-tier, even though that bottom row is smoky, but I'm basing it on the entire palette. Mm. 
<laughs> Mission Triple X. Mission Triple X. We're going to do top tier Mission Triple X because this has a lot of versatility in it. And I'm thinking about that gray look I did. Like, who would look at this and think, green palette, I'm going to do a gray look. It was beautiful. And so it does have versatility in it. The shadows, you know, the formula is fine. Uh, and it's exciting. All right, top tier. All right, thank you, y'all, for helping me, like, really figure this out. Brolin under... Not Brolin Underground. Um... Berlin 69, mid-tier, it doesn't call me for some reason, I don't know, because it gives me that dark, it gives me that smoke that I like, so I don't know. Taritha's leaves, but we're going to put top tier, even though I look at it and half the time I don't know what the hell to do with it, like it's just, it's just a fun palette. So we're, we're going to put this top tier, we're going to put this top tier because it, it's motivating and encouraging to use and do something new. That surprised me, <laughs> that really surprised me. This lethal BYOP, mid-tier. And I think it's just the lighter shades in it. And again, these six right here are from Wild Flower Palette. But I think it's just all the lighter tones. But Lethal shows up. Like they, they the shifts might not be shifting like some other indie brands, but they're gonna show up. So this is mid-tier, and I do think it's just because of the lighter tones, which is surprising. I was gonna say surprising I picked them, but you know what? Some of these lighter tones, they came in mystery bags. So that's where some of them came from. And I do like them. I do like the Lethal Mystery Bags. And the Night Flower Palette. Mid-tier. Because it's just... You know what? Wait a minute. I looked at that and thought of Leela. Let's see something. Thank you for being here. I did not intend for this video to be this long. As if my videos be short. So... I'm trying to get the glare off of the Lethal Palette. Yeah, I looked at... The Lethal one is thought of Leela, but looking at it, you can tell they're completely different. And I think I was looking at like those pinkish tones, and that made me think of Leela, but this they, they're completely different. Lethal does to me have more, I mean, Leela does to me have more like neutral tones in it. Whereas this is is dulled down. This is dull compared to these, even though these are mid-tone, you know, neutralish type shades. When you look at this one, these are more toned down. The lighter shades in here are more toned down. And so, what am I saying? So, if they're both... Shit, you know what? I'm going to still put... Where are we going to put this? Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I'm gonna put that mid tier. Okay, so all right, so bottom, and these are not in order. This is just the bottom tier, mid tier, top tier. So we're not ranking according to palette. So bottom tier, Nomad Whistler Snow Lodge, Dee Dee Signature Classic Autumn Palette, Notoriously Morbid, Some Kind of Haunted, and Natasha Denona Leela palette. I do really feel like over time, some kind of haunted is going to move up, but we, we will see according to what I use it with for that month. Mid-tier, work, 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 BYOP from MAC, and three lethal palettes, Brolin Underground. Um, This one, and I, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, this, this one. <laughs> I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to take some of the shadows out and do something else. And this is the Night Flower palette. I might mix some of these with this one. That's what I might do. And I'm really like just processing here. And so thank you for being here. If you're still here, well, if you're still here, you're, you're hearing me say this. So these are what these two look like. And I do like them how they are for different reasons. Because I was thinking I would, you know, swap them and have a palette. I'm like, yeah, this is going to be on the top. But then I'm looking at it now and I'm like... I don't know. So that'll be something I'll have to figure out another day, not today. And you guys are like, thank goodness, because she's just going on and on and on and on. I know. So those are mid-tier. Top tier surprised me once we started figuring out the mid-tier stuff. Oop, I dropped one of the house labs. So we have Midnight Sun, Pat McGrath, Circle Loco, Natasha, 
House Labs, both of them, one just fell. Jolina from Lethal, another Lethal, uh, Starry Night Palette from, yeah, that is Starry Night Palette, my BYOP from MAC, Mission Triple X from Martine Cosmetics, and Teresa is Lethal from lethal cosmetics and so that's what we got y'all let me know what you think let me know if you're surprised at what's top what's mid what's low tier and let me know if you have any of these palettes let me know what you think of them and if you don't and you're looking at the color stories let me know like yeah legally should have been top tier because that color story da, 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 da. you know so just let me know and thank you for being here for the duration lots of information below i am not going to keep you any further except to say as always self-acceptance self-love that is the crazy troll nation way thank you and you will see me soon and subscribe if you're not go through my playlist for these videos if you want to see what looks that i've done and wherever we want to go thank you and you will see me soon